you know, uh, we definitely had our struggles. You know, uh, a lot of penalties were messing us up. We couldn't, uh, we weren't scoring in the red zone. So we had to, you know, get back to work and, you know, figure out that stuff. And then just little mistakes that we were messing up on that was preventing us from having those huge plays and, you know, bringing us back and all that type of stuff. Offensive line was on the uh, midseason list for the Joe Moore Award today. Just how exciting is that for this group, and where do you think y'all have improved the most over the course of seven games? Uh, uh, yeah, I just saw that actually walking up here. You know, that's a huge accomplishment for us, but, you know, we want to win it. You know, being on the list, you know, we're um, excited and we're thankful for being on it, but, you know, we want to win it. And I think we've become more consistent in the run game, but we have to do better. You know, still a little stuff that we need to fix, and, you know, So can you talk about um, how much of a weapon it is to have two two backs like um, Milton and McIntosh to have kind of they obviously can do both in the pa in running and the passing game, but having McIntosh in, in the passing game, having Milton as a threat in the run game, how much of a weapon that is to have with Georgia Georgia offense? Oh yeah, it definitely it spreads the uh, defense out too, you know, because. Um, you may put Kendall, not Kendall, but Kenny out there, and that you know drags the linebacker out. And so now he's one on one with a, uh, with Kenny, so we really like that. And then we will have you know Kendall may fake it out there and run it right up the middle with Kendall. So it's a huge value. You keep mentioning like little things that are holding out back. Is that execution little things? Is it lack of focus stuff like penalties? Like what are the little things you've seen and then y'all are really focused on improving? Definitely penalties, you know, penalties and then technique stuff, you know, not taking the right step, you know, not having your hand where you need it, not having uh, the correct hat placement and stuff like that, you know, prevents us from, you know, having big runs. Nolan, who we're going to hear from in a minute, from Savannah, makes big plays in this game last year. Can you tell that the Georgia-Florida game maybe means a little bit more to him or he's maybe a little bit more amped up going into this game given he's from that area and what he's done in the past for this team in that game? Oh, yeah. You know, last year he had a you know a great game. I think he had a strip fumble and then he didn't catch the pick, but he tipped it, right? The Trayvon? No, Trayvon picked it, and I think he, yeah, he, he tipped, it, tipped it and Trayvon, and he picked it. Oh, yeah, it but, you know, you know, Nolan, he plays like that every game. He's always amped up. He's always ready to play. You know, as soon as we get in the locker room, you know, he's talking. He's making sure everybody's locked in, and we're all ready to go. Warren, as an offensive lineman, how valuable is a bye week as far as just wear and tear and, and trying to get through an entire SEC slate as an offensive lineman? Oh, yeah, it's, you know, it's definitely – we love it, you know, even though but we're still going to come in this week and try to get better work on um, the things we need to. But, you know, definitely not having a game this week helps us, you know, get back in the recovery room, you know, getting a little aches and stuff back normal. Can you talk a bit about where you've seen Stetson grow from last year to this year? And obviously you guys go to a lot of the passing game mm -hmm. now. What kind of allowed him to grow from that from where he's still here? Uh, I think just being more vocal, you know, this year he's been way more vocal than he was last year. You know, he's making sure everybody getting in the right spots. And in that practice, you know, he's just picking us up, making sure everybody's ready to go. Do you find valuable to go over some teams uh, during this open week that you're going to face later in the season in terms of learning some of the concepts or some of the schemes? Uh, do you recall when those games come up later? Hey, what do you think? Can you repeat that for me? Kirby said that you guys are kind of touching on some of the opponents that you'll mm -hmm. face in the next five games. Uh, you know, do you, do you remember that as those games, game weeks come up in terms of the concepts or schemes that you learned? Is it valuable to learn? Oh, yeah. Game? You know, we have we started a little bit from each team, you know, and uh, when that week comes up, you know, you'll remember it. It'll click for you once we get out there and we start doing the rest. It'll click for you, like, oh, yeah, we did this during the bye week. So, yeah, it definitely helps. <laughs> kind of me just being curious from a football standpoint. So obviously a blocking scheme is different from what the skilled players are doing, but how valuable is it as an offensive lineman to also know the action of the skilled players with every play? That way you know that my purpose for doing this scheme is to get this guy in this hole or something like that. How valuable is it to just know what the other players are doing, not just the offensive line? Oh, yeah, you know, it's definitely valuable. You know, you look at um... – Marcus Rosen, you know, all of most of our big plays, you know, he's out there blocking on the perimeter too. You know, he's helping us uh, block on the perimeter so we can bust those, uh, you know, outside zones when they have to bounce out. He's out there blocking, so you know, he helps us, you know, make uh, have big runs too. So.
Warren, how different does a bye week look for a player? And you know, does it allow you to, to do anything interesting outside of football, or is it still kind of a regimented kind of week? It's still the same. You know, the only thing I'll probably go home this weekend, see the family, relax, watch a little football. But you know, during the week, it's still we're still grinding, we're working. Mm -hmm. Thank you, all. Thank you. <laughs>